Also, the first order, okay, mm -hmm. there are remnants of the empire. So they have to be lesser than the empire. And yet, they have a fully operational star destroyer and star destroyer. Is this the only one? I doubt it. No, I think they have several of these. Which means you've got the logistics tail of the, the star destroyer, maintenance, I see. construction, crewing the thing, training mm -hmm. facilities. Fueling parts, the thing. Fueling the thing. Lubricants. You know, mm -hmm. You're talking a massive institution just to run a Not single easy. star destroyer, which means single. they probably have multiple. So, I, I mean, I guess it's galactic scale, so our, our thoughts of what big is is all distorted. So this it could be small, even though it's huge on Earth scale. But still, it feels like the First Order is pretty damn competent and pretty damn large. Right. Yeah, of, of all those different supply chains, if one of them fails, this thing doesn't fly. It so doesn't it, fly. it's all got to work. Yeah, and just the crew. This is a massive yeah. ship. Yeah. This is a well, I mean, how many like thousands several of thousand, people? Several thousand. Yeah. So massive crew all working Heck, together. Damn. Just feeding these people. Logistics That's right. Them. The food and the water on this. Yep. You got to have like supply ships coming in regularly. And entertainment. Of, you can't just have people working all the time. They got to be able to enjoy themselves. Got to give them like an Xbox or whatever, right? So I think of the break room on the Star Destroyer. Ooh. You could do like simu simulated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> damn. 